How's it going guys, Ish Patel here with my review of something that has been well received by the tech community as the holy grail of wireless mice, the Logitech MX Master. The MX Master is the latest in Logitech's MX lineup, which began in 2002 with the MX300. Having used the Senti Revolution Pro, a wired gaming mouse for the past year, I decided to pick up the MX Master and see what the buzz was all about. The mouse itself is downright gorgeous. The bronze aluminum along with black plastic and padding makes for a striking yet durable design. Slopes and curves engulf the MX Master from all sides, making for a surprisingly comfortable mouse while in the hand. The left side has a substantial sloping curve to accommodate the controls along with a polygon faceted thumb rest which looks unique and is soft enough to rest your thumb on for long hours without fatigue. On the bottom we have the power and connectivity controls along with Logitech's dark field sensor which also tracks on glass. We also have the cushions on all four sides to keep the mouse raised and moving smoothly while in use. No matter how good a mouse may look, it has to function properly to fulfill its worth. The MX Master up front has the two standard left and right mouse buttons which can be swapped via the software that comes bundled with the mouse. The scroll wheel has three modes. You can either scroll slowly for accurate line to line scrolling or swipe the wheel faster to go into a free scroll mode. This is what Logitech calls smart shift. You could set the shifting sensitivity in the software. The button behind the scroll wheel changes modes. You could cycle through smart shift, ratchet and free scrolling. Ratchet being the accurate one and free scroll being the fluid one. You could set which two the button cycles between in the software as well. On the left side we have the horizontal scroll wheel, forward and back buttons and the gesture button on the thumb rest. The horizontal scrolling is extremely smooth and is fantastic for video editing. This feature alone has reduced my editing time by about half an hour. The forward and back buttons are useful, but their placing is definitely not optimal. Being stacked on top of one another, I constantly find myself hitting the wrong one and arching your thumb back to press them isn't the most comfortable thing either. I wish they were spaced apart, more like those on the Sente Revolution Pro. Nonetheless, I hope to see a better implementation of the buttons from Logitech with the next iteration of the MX Master. The gesture button alongside the thumb rest is a nice touch, but the implementation is somewhat buggy. To initiate a gesture, simply press down on the gesture button and move the mouse in one of four directions to execute the gesture set via the software. However, I found the software choked up at times and executed the wrong gesture. Hopefully, we could see a better implementation of this as well in the next gen MX mouse. In terms of connectivity, you have two options here. Connect via Bluetooth or connect via the Logitech USB receiver. To pair the mouse up, simply press and hold the connect button and the mouse will start searching for devices. The mouse sports Logitech's dark field sensor, which also is capable of tracking on glass. At the bottom, we have a button that swaps between three connected devices so you don't have to pair it up each time. While powered on, the mouse will illuminate the number to the device currently paired with and cycling through the number will blink it while searching for devices to pair to. Once it connects, the number will stop flashing and switch to constant illumination. I have to give Logitech props for really planning this aspect out. Here's a quick look at the robust software Logitech packed alongside the MX Master. As you can see, we have complete control over the buttons and can remap them individually as we please with the aid of this software. We also have information on how the mouse is connected and what the battery status is at the moment. If you wish, you could even set application specific profiles. For example, I've set up a profile for the buttons while using Google Chrome. I selected the gesture button and mapped out the gestures in each direction to custom controls as I pleased. There are more options available to control the pointer and scrolling behavior such as the pointer speed and, as I mentioned earlier, the different scrolling modes and the respective sensitivities as well. With the help of the software and investing some time into it to learn it completely, 
you can really tailor this mouse towards your needs. And that is bonus props to Logitech. All the fun will last, however, as long as the mouse has a charge. The MX Master comes with a built-in 500mAh battery, which Logitech estimates will last for around 40 hours of use. From my personal use and tests, however, I was able to squeeze 36 hours out of the mouse before I had to juice it up again. When you do have to juice up, the process is quite simple. Use the USB to micro USB cable that came with the mouse and plug it into a power source. After 30 minutes tops, you should be good to go for another 36 hours. Logitech did an outstanding job with the power management. The mouse actually turns all the lights off after a few seconds of use and goes into standby if kept idle for too long to conserve power. Once it detects movement again, it is up and running in a few milliseconds. You can keep track of the battery with the LEDs on the left side towards the front of the mouse. If you're in the market for a serious mouse upgrade and are looking for a premium mouse that delivers elegance in design, a boost in comfort and productivity, helps cut some cables from your desk and can hold a charge well, the MX Master is definitely the way to go. The $99 price tag is definitely not cheap, but in my opinion is totally worth it for the mouse. However, the price has started to drop on Amazon and I'll drop a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. That's all for this one guys. To stay updated with the channel, be sure to follow me on the social platforms listed in the description down below. I'm Ish Patel, thank you for watching, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.